I think we are here now. Yes, we should be live right now. Hello, anybody home? Can you all see me? Oh, Anna is here. Hi, Anna. How are you doing? Me no see why. Hi, everybody. How are you all doing? Let me plug this uh, this light so I appear nicely. Hey, awesome. Awesome. The light is on me. <clears throat> Laurie Lawson. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Hey, hi, me. What's up? Today, too, AJ will be late, too. And then she'll come and be asking, how come she's always late? Oh, Anna, you drink some? Oh, yeah, take. Take a sip, eh? Don't worry. I'm drinking it for you. Oh, Anna, that one is for you. Laura, let me drink one for you, too. Oh, Laura, that one, too, is for you. Me? Should I drink one for you, too? Okay, let me drink one for you, too. Uh -huh. I've drunk water for all of you. Charlie? Welcome to tonight's edition. Tonight we will do color grading in Capture One. This particular picture, I this is um, Paulina. She's from Sweden. We did this shoot, I think, somewhere in January. She came for the year of return thing. Hey, AJ is here. <laughs> hey, 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 AJ, hold on. Let me drink water for you. You, I'll drink two for you. Okay, two. Mm, one, Akabako. Mm, two, AJ, two shots for you. So this is uh, Paulina. She was in Ghana from Sweden. And we had this shoot at uh, Titanic Beach. We did uh, about three different shoots. We went all the way to Boti Falls. Charlie, we went to Boti Falls. Boti Falls, oh, we picked a uh, taxi dropping from uh, Koforidia to Boti Falls, 50 Ghana in, 50 Ghana out. And guess what? There was no water at the waterfall. <coughs> I said, oh, we got there and they said there was no water. There. Hey, Climax Films, what's up? AJ, Medasi, Medasi. Eh? We got to Boti Falls and they said no water in the, uh, the fall. How? How can there be no water in the fall? And then at the same time, they were not going to reduce the the fee because she said she was like okay let's still go to the fall let's go and see the empty fall and still take pictures they were like if we still want to go there we'll still pay to go there and pay for the tour guide and then we pay 150 cities for shooting there we were like what i mean how how count there's no waterfall the waterfall had dried and we should still pay the normal prices to go and look at an empty for nada so we decided okay we will come back so on our way back is that why you are drinking water today <laughs> Sorry, so on our way back <laughs> anna i'm drinking water because the waterfall was dry eh booty waterfall I, like i never imagined a waterfall could be dry like mean to be that one lie you hear some before. Laura, have you ever been to a dry waterfall before? No. They were like, it was dry. And the thing is, before we even went there, I called, I looked for their number online to call. I called and nobody picked up. And we wasted our time from Accra all the way to Boti. Loretta and bad network. Sure. Now see me. My stream doesn't buffer anymore because I use a better app. I think it was um, it was OBS that was chewing my bandwidth. But now, see, everything is jelly, jelly. Everything is cool and cool and all that. See, okay. Let me display. Let me display my banner. Awesome. Yeah. See, I think I'm beginning to like uh, Streamyard now. It's doing the work well and all that. So yeah, I like it. Okay, Vokram is here. Hello, madam. How are you doing? How is the lockdown treating you? Yeah, we are out of lockdown, so I need to go get the shape. Maybe tomorrow is Friday, right? Either tomorrow or 
Saturday. Today, the whole day, I was at Circle getting my phone fixed, but it's not yet fixed. So, Ni says, if we bought self, we will call through. Charlie, Ni? Ni? Charlie? Call. In fact, Ni, call, eh? <laughs> Ni? Let, let me see. Uh, when you're ready, tell me. I will invite you so that you join, yeah? I will invite you so you join. The whole day, I was at Circle, making sure my phone was working, but still, I haven't gotten it back. They said tomorrow, so hopefully tomorrow I'll get my phone back. So for those of you trying to reach me on uh, WhatsApp and all that, or trying to call my Airtel, it's off. If you have my MTN, call it, or you can send me a message on iMessage or Instagram, any of them. But WhatsApp or calling my Airtel, it's a part possible. The day I did the Aka Force video, we went there and Boti Force was dry. We requested to get our money back. <laughs> hey, Laura, wait to so wait. You went there. At least we were lucky when we got there. The place was like deserted. So we asked, ah, what's up? Then the lady was like, the fall is dry. And all that. They were like, waterfall dry. Like I've never come across a dry waterfall. Seriously. I've never come across a waterfall that is dry. So I was like, ah, so she, you know, we, uh, I think two days before we went there, Paulina was at um, Relief Force, and she was like, that place was vibrant and all that. You see? Ah, Laura, my phone, hmm, I sent it for them to change the charging port to Asa. Now the phone is dead. Today I went to the circle. They said the board was rusted. They said water had entered the phone. My phone that I've used for three years, I've never gone near water with it. Too. They said... Even my GoPro that has the waterproof case, I've never even put it in water. They said the phone was in, inside has rusted and all that. So I went to another friend at Circle and got um, an iCloud, uh, the same I, uh, 7 Plus, an iCloud one, the one that they removed the screen for something. So they, got, they gave me the board and I went to give it to the guy. So he said tomorrow he'll fix it then I'll get it. So let's just, uh, let's hope. Okay, so Ni says I should drop it. Ni, I'll drop the link. Let me see, where is, uh, where is, uh, I've forgotten the thing again. Where is invite? Hold on. Okay, there is invite here. Hey, Bani. How do I send it to you? Asem Nuni. Ni, if you're on... Uh, Ni, are you on uh, iMessage? If you're on iMessage, I can send the link to you through iMessage. Uh, oh, AJ. I wore my nose mask. I have um, Telly gave me a nose mask, the industrial one. So I wore it there and I had my hand sanitizer in my pocket. So every once you know, I just put it in my hand. And then I took a uh, Trotsky. Oh, Charlie, Charlie, we need to give it up for the, uh, the Trotsky guys. They follow the directives. Before you enter, they have hand sanitizer. They spray into your hands and all that. And Charlie, it was so nice, man. And then they have this social distancing. The oven, the normal oven takes two. One to the left, one to the right. Asa, it was so nice, man. They are doing well. They are doing well. They are doing well. Pa. And the kids were there. They wanted to sell cocoa to us. And we ran away. <laughs> Okay, so Ni, let me see. Let me get uh, on iMessage and then let me send you a message on iMessage. Uh, let me see. It's over here. Okay, I see Ni here. Okay, so Ni, I'll send you the link on iMessage. So you can just join. So we do our thing. Yeah, they told us uh, when it starts raining. I was like, what kind of waterfall is that? What kind of waterfall is that? So when we came back, I think I was talking to someone. I was talking to someone like that. Then she said I should have gone to Ankar Falls because Ankar Falls is like a few minutes away from there. But you see, and the woman at Boti Falls, she's very, very wicked. She should have told me, say, there is another waterfall close by. She didn't say anything. See, Ghanaians, how wicked we are. She should have told me, so oh, since you really need a waterfall, she saw that I was with a white girl. She should have told me that there is another waterfall close by. Because someone said it was, I think it's like 10, less than 10 minutes away from there. And this girl did not even tell me about that. Can you imagine? Uh, 
Hey, Loretta, you want to steal sanitizer from Trotro? Oh, 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 oh. The one at Circle Station, the uh, Obra Sports, behind Obra Sports. That place, oh, they were spraying hand sanitizer in people's hands and all that. And most of the people who bought it all had a uh, face mask on. And Charlie, it was so good, man. I felt safe. Like, I'm like, we are really on a good path. Oh, look at you. Ah, see, it wasn't even planned, though. It wasn't planned. We didn't plan to go there. Like, we were just there now that we decided, okay, let's go. Because we did uh, the beach shoot. We did one in the studio. Okay, I've not loaded that one. We did one in the studio, one at the beach, and then one at uh, Boti Falls. So, on our way back, you know, I grew up in the village, somewhere close to Boti Falls. And, oh, then face marks. Yes, heat, but Charlie is worth it. You need to you need to put it on to save yourself. Other people didn't put it on, but I'm like, cool. Well, once I'm wearing it, I won't come close to you if you're not wearing it. You buy, and most of the people Charlie had it on. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm drinking water for all those coming in. Most of the people had it on. So Charlie, it was comfortable. Me, I sent you the link. Oh, have you seen it? I sent it to your iMessage. So check it and then. Join us and before we start the lesson, because once we start the lesson, people would want to pay attention. Eh, Laura, so you can go out and just make sure you put on your face mask and then is it face mask or nose mask? <laughs> nose and mouth mask. <laughs> One of them, put that on and have your sanitizer with you, and you'll be fine. Because the Trotskys they, they are observing the social distancing. I think the 207 speak 3-3, three, three, and then the smaller one speak 2-2. Two, two. So if you like, just make sure you pick the smaller one so that you know that the, the space, you know, is that much. Just two people on a seat, Charlie. It was so nice. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's, let's get to into today's... Uh, I'm waiting for Nii to join, but he's not joining. He asked for Loretta, even if I send her the link, she can't join because her network is, is bad. So... Ah, okay. Well, me, I had to go to Circle because I needed a phone fixed. Because the guy sent it to someone at Circle. And he, he's been there since uh, Tuesday. And nothing is happening. So I decided I decided to go there myself to get some, you know, progress. So the places you want to go, they are not open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to do um, that kind of thing. You want to go to travel and stuff. Well, you can start locally. Go, go and stand at Circle. See how people are going about their business. Well, if you go to Circle Child, they can beat you too. <laughs> You'll be there filming with your phone. They will come and slap you and collect your phone. <laughs> Aj, they will slap you and collect your phone. Yeah. Otherwise, you can go to Circle or Makola or any of these um, you know, places and then let people see how, you know, it, it's a whole story after the the lockdown, how people have gone back to their normal life, whether they are observing. You know the precautionary measures and all that, Charlie. It's a whole content for you, Loretta. You can do that. Ah, sit. We don't want sit down videos. Go out. Go to town. Wear your nose mask. Eh? And then, if possible, cry. You can even buy some uh, nose mask. I think they are saying that five CDs or ten CDs. You can buy like five, and then you know go around. Then. You talk to people, people who are not wearing, why are you not wearing it and all that? Then you give one out. You know, Charlie, it's good content. Too. That's what you're also doing to contribute to this thing. You bab. So you can do it, Charlie. Pay me for giving you this idea. <laughs> hey, where is Ni? Ni hasn't read my message on iMessage yet, which means he isn't here with us. Yeah, I should send you more. Sure. If I don't do it again, I've taken my idea back. Don't do it again. I'll go and sell it to somebody else. Hmm, Lore? I'll sell the idea to somebody else. Yeah, I'm giving you an idea. You want me to you want me to send you Momo before you do it.
Uh, so go with uh, partner. In fact, Tilly can go with you. So go with uh, go with Tilly. <laughs> it will be a good thing. Go with Tilly. It needs to not heal. I'm sure Nee's network has uh, bombarded him. Okay, so we are going to color grade this image as we wait for Nee. So it's very easy doing that in capture. You see these uh, circle circles here. They are the things we are going to use to color grade. See? Um, before Ni comes or class begins, Lisa has left the YouTube. Ah, why has Lisa left? The owner of the house has left the house. Hey, Asem, how is that possible? Favor. Miss Aveva, my birthday is coming. You. Ah, Loretta, tell me, how, how, how did that happen? Why has Lisa left? I mean, how can the owner of the house leave her house? How is that possible? No, 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 no. Loretta, you must explain. Okay, knee is here. Knee is here. Okay, if knee is here. Hey, hold on, I need to take my headset so I can hear me. My headset that is broken. Me, hold on, I'm taking my headset so I can hear you. Let me switch the output. Okay, Ni, my headset is up, so talk. What's up, what's up, what's up? Cool, Oni. Make, make me talk on like when you see my face and hand. Hey. <laughs> Ciao, what's up? Cool, oh, cool, cool. I did try some editing. That's why, Charlie, I make it slow hey. like that. I just won't worry. Uh, make, 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 make you all be bright. See the way my webcam said they look sharp because of light day my top. Uh, I did try editing so much. To make a worry you why. Ah, Lore. So you are trying to say that what you all left you all left the group. Abba, people don't do that to me. You hear what Lore they talk. You say them all left the group. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> editors, editors in the building. <laughs> Charlie, make 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 a type, make a type, make a type, and make a note. Take people them at the time. Make a type. Assemble. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, John Moore. Yeah, 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 John, John Moore. Laurie is here. Laurie's network is behaving today, so she's very active. <laughs> AJ, Laurie says, what have you been feeding me with? Ah, knee left. Okay. Okay, so since Ni is not here, I think I'll just drop the my headset. Yeah, today Loretta is a talkative. Hey, Charlie, wait, Lore. In fact, I think after I'll, I'll, I'll call you, Lore, cry on. I, you should be on iMessage. So you can send me a message on my iMessage, the same Airtel number. 
if you send it, it will come on my MacBook. How how can who, who fought with uh, the owner of uh, the group that she had to leave? Asembeini, eh? What kind of wahala is that? Okay, so we will you will go we will go on with um, our color grading, yeah. So here we have a. Let me connect my Wacom. And let me turn on this guy. With this, I'm able to see colors well. Well, hey, a whole owner of the group who fought her. Who? who which of them? Which of them decided to fight with the owner? The the owner of the house for her to leave. Hey, Asemu. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So let's uh, let's uh, start our color grading. Now there are two ways to color grade this image. The first one is like very easy. You know, you see some pictures and uh, the sky is like um, you know, a different color. Like you'll be asking yourself, ah, please, I'm not blind, Lore. I'm not a blind Moses. Please, you'll be asking yourself, how come the sky is so you know? dramatic or that kind of thing. So this is how it's done. Now there are two ways, and you should know that uh, the sky, especially when there's a water body, the sky always reflects on, is it on or in the water? One of them. I'm not, I'm not blind, what's it? The sky reflects in the water. So you see that the water always takes the color of the sky. So if the sky is uh, blue, the water will also be blue. If the sky is like, the normal white the water will also be plain you get it so in this case the ground here and then the water has taken the color of um, what's up there the color of the sky so if we change the color of the sky it will affect the color on the ground so let's just take a look at something like that let's come here to the color editor pick this color then let's just move it here so you see let's go this way and then let's saturate it. Uh -uh. Good. Let's saturate it like this. So you see, just by just doing this, we've been able to, let's uh, make it darker. By just doing this, we've been able to change the color dramatically. See? It's a dramatic change that we've done. And it's affected the whole image, like from the top to the bottom. Now, this uh, might look well, quite okay, but let's say we don't like it like this. We don't want the ground to also be blue like that. You see, we want only the sky to remain like that. There's another way, an easier way, right? So let's undo this, Command Z, another Command Z, or let's just delete this point. So in the next one to do, we can use, uh, there's this thing called um, the gradient. If you press G, hey, easy. If you come here, and I see over here, there's uh, this gradient thing. So we just draw a gradient up here. Where is the mask? Show the mask. Bam, you see, over here, this is the mask. So this shows the places that will be affected. So the red parts are the parts that will be affected. And the bottom here, so you can always hold it and then tune it. You can rotate it and all that. So in this case, everywhere that you see red, whatever we do will affect that part. If you don't see red, it means it will be affected. So the floor and all these places won't be affected. So let's remove the mask. Hey, easy. What is that? Uh oh, Capture One just decided to crash. No worries, we'll open it again. Where is Capture One? Mm, no problem. 
capture one just decided to crash and if i should decide to open it again we will have a bit of a problem so i'll go ahead and then open an image in photoshop so we continue that in photoshop um which image can we color grade in photoshop let's take a look at this what image is that i hope it's not nah not this one this is the one that we were editing the other time and somebody went to report us no? so let's see uh which image which image let's look at this one okay yes we can color grade this image yeah we can color grade this one so let's take um yeah you go to color balance this is where all the magic happens so i want to open it up so you guys can see it big this is where we are going to do the workout uh since it removed the mask and everything else yes uh john capture one just crashed and i don't want to open it up again Vuklam, thank you very much i saw your share Thank you very much for sharing. Yeah, so John Moore, since um, Capture One decided to crash, we will do this in uh, Photoshop, right? So this particular image is what I want to color grade over here see so let's go ahead and use uh, this one there are many ways of color grading in photoshop but i would want to use the color balance because th that's the one i learned and that's the one i'm uh, conversant with so let's go into details now as you know there are three different things there's shadows there is mid-tones and then there is highlights as you know these three things make an image the shadows you know like right now as you see me see there are shadows down here and even on my face there are certain parts that have shadows then there are highlights the bright parts the parts that are very bright and then there are the mid-tones which are the parts between in between the uh, bright and you know shadow the, play, the part between highlights and shadows that's your mid tool like in the middle you get it okay so let's start with the shadows now if you want to <laughs> you want to press it and then put it on Flight mode, no problem, no problem, Charlie. Um, Ellie Plim, what's up, what's up? Today we are doing color grading in Photoshop. So those who want to learn, those who have been asking me for that, I wanted to do it in uh, Capture One, but Capture One decided to die on me. So let's do it over here. Ni, if you want to join, I think the link works, or do I have to send another, another invitation? If the link works, just use it to join. Or if I have to send another one, let me know. So I send another invitation. Yes, Ellie Plim. So why is Karen laughing? Miss Avevo, why are you laughing? Ellie Plim, we are doing color grading here. All right, so this, let me just increase it small. Yes, to this so that we can see. I want to take care of the, we'll deal with the greens after. But for now, we're going to do like color grading that will go all around. So, we are going to work with the shadows. And as I said, color grading has to do with playing with colors. You know, the color is either the colors are complementing each other or they are adjusting like close to each other. So let's say if you look at the, the colors here, if you look on the left, it's cyan. If you move to the opposite side, it's like red. If you look at uh, the second one, over here is uh, magenta. Is it magenta or magenta? One of them. And then to opposite of it is green. 
Then yellow, opposite of yellow is what? Blue, you see? So it's, you can use this as a, a starting point. So whatever, it's nicer when your colors complement each other, like when they're on the opposite side. So if somebody is wearing yellow, if you use a blue backdrop, it will look, mwah, the person will pop. Same way, the person, is, is, it's a blue, it's a yellow backdrop. The person wears a blue, it pops. You get it, the same thing with this one. If it doesn't mean if there is a yellow backdrop, you shouldn't use green on it. You can still use it, but then it will complement better if you you know you work with those colors. You get and then there are other ones to you know side by side, like here, magenta and yellow, side by side, very nice. Uh blue and green or blue and red side by side, it's nice also. So you you're laughing at me, Karen. Okay, me, yes. Continue laughing at him, man. He was, I think he was typing and <laughs> pressing, pressing there, no. His uh, stream went off. So today, we are, tonight, we are going to deal with uh, complementary colors, right? So let's uh, start. Now, in the shadows, which means what? The dark parts. Let's slide uh, here, cyan, and let's see what happens. You see what's happening? This is only for the shadows. I've dragged the thing all the way to cyan and see what happened to the image. Let's drag it all the way to red. See? So you guys will see these as filters on your phone. If you have your phone, maybe your phone's app has all these set, uh, settings. You just see them as filters, sound filter or red filter, that kind of thing. Or Instagram. Instagram has some of these things. But in Photoshop, you have the, the, the opportunity. You have the power to regulate it. You know, you choose how strong or light you want it to be. So we decide if we want cyan in the shadows or we want red in the shadows. So in this case, I think I would want cyan in the shadows. See, so I put cyan here and then maybe a bit of blue in the shadows. So this is just for the shadows. Let's move to the highlights. So just, I really wish we could have them side by side, but we can't. So let's just look at this. In the shadows, I went in with cyan. So in the highlights, I'll go towards red. Let's do that. Highlights, I go towards red. See, same thing. And then I add some yellows. Let me see, how much yellow did I add on my 13? So over here, it should be negative 13. Bam. You see? So this is opposite. Let's disable it. This is before. This is now. See, before and now. See how just these uh, small adjustments We've been able to do something here. Now, if you go to, we've worked on only the highlights and shadows, complementary colors. If you go to the midtones, now you will decide where you want it to go. Do you want it hotter or cooler? So I would want it cooler, maybe 10 here. Okay, it says nine. And then, um, how do I want it? Maybe somewhere here like this. See? So just some few slides, and this is where we are. Just look at this. This is before, and this is now. See? Before, and now. Hold on. Let me create, a, let me just add another new window for this. And then let's uh, view them side by side. Where is it? To a vertical. Good. It affects both of them. Damn it. Okay. So let's uh, bring this up close. So the one on the left is uh, up close. And then the one on the right. My friend, why are you misbehaving? Okay. So the one on the left is up close. And then the one on the right is, you know, full view. So let's look at it again. This is before how our image came in here. And this is now where we've color graded it to. 
See? See how simple it is to color grade in Photoshop. Just that you need to know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you just end up messing up the image. And the truth is, there are so many images which have been messed up in the name of color grading. So the owner of the image says, so oh, I'm doing color, I graded the image. But you look at the image and you realize, Charlie, <laughs> the original image looked way better than the final one because the color grading wasn't nice. You need to, you, Morris, Mizi, Mizi, Mizi from Kumasi, Charlie, what happened? This is Mizi from Mizi Photography. Morris, tell you how is life like in uh, in Kumasi? I cried everything is back to normal. How is it like in Kumasi? So you see, this is how we've easily color graded this image. And you know, if you think the you know the grade is too much or something, Miss Abeva. You're learning and you're going to apply it on your phone very soon. <laughs> if you think it's uh, too much, easy. Just come to opacity and then reduce it. You can just reduce the opacity here. How come it's not reduced? Is it because of what I've done here? Okay, so opacity doesn't want to. Let me... What's that? No. How come opacity doesn't want to reduce? Okay. So if you think it's way too much, see, this is before and this is now. So if it's too much, you can just reduce it. So now it's at 70%. See? So let's say before, this is as we brought the image in and this is now. Easy color grading, right? Good. So this is one, uh, one way. Maurice, why are you laughing? Eh? Why is Morris laughing plenty like that? This is one way of uh, like one tone. Let's say we don't like this. So let's uh, take it down. Then let's go get another one. Uh, just use the color balance. And then this time, let's do something opposite. So let's go to shadows. And then let's give the shadows, you know, let's put the shadows in the blues. And then once it's in the blues, this one will go. No, the shadow was in the blues previously. So let's put it in the yellows. Like this. Then this one goes in the reds. See? And then here we can either go here or there. So let's add some greens to it. Small greens in there. Then let's go to the highlights. Then in the highlights, we will go opposite. Remember, we went yellow for the shadows so now we'll go blue for the highlight and then over here we'll go teal see so we'll enter teal over here and then probably we'll go a bit magenta here see so let's do before and now see it's just it's something light but we've been able to make a difference let me take this off so that you see. So this is the full image, and then this is uh, like zoomed in. This is 25%, and then this is 16.6%. You see the graded version. This is before, and then this is now. The difference is not that much, but then you can see it. Like you can, you can, you can, you can feel it in the image that something has taken place. This is all color grading is about. Not that you do it, you know trying like that like let's you know plenty plenty to no color grade is it has to be like the little little you know changes that you make in the color that's what brings about color grading not that you should take the image and then go and blast it with colors go and take uh, colors and then just slap them on the image no see so this is before this is now if we disable this and we go to the previous one. So you see the previous one, we went in the opposite direction. And then now we've gone in the other direction. It's the same thing. You can do it for all the other 
colors. There is selective color and other plenty, plenty things. But Charlie, it's up to you. However, you oh Karen, what is chin chin? Chin chin like Morris. Explain to Karen what chin chin means. <laughs> uh, Karen, you know what I'm talking about. And you want to worry my life like that. Eh? Morris, I beg, explain give me eh, what the chin chin means. My chin cry is not that good. You see? So this is it. Now let's um, let's look at this. I've never done it in uh ah Maurice. See how Karen won't worry me. Oh, eh? You know, please, please, please. See, tomorrow I'll go and shave this thing and you will call me Mosi Mosi again. True. See, so I haven't done this in Photoshop before. So let's all let's try it. I think maybe some of you here might have done it before, like how to do um how to do selective color like this the green if i want to tone it down or something like that i know you can use a uh, hue and saturation this one over here then you can choose uh, specific colors so let's say if we want to work with uh, greens over here we choose greens and then we can desaturate or more saturation but you see in this case okay let's desaturate so that in this case i think we will have to do this you see this is a problem with photoshop because i know in capture one i know how to handle this thing well uh, oh maurice you today call me moses stop that hey i'm abena how are you doing how has your day been? And how is the lockdown treating you? Eh? Uh, you guys should stop calling me Moses Moses. What is that? <laughs> uh, behave. So see, as I was saying, in Capture One, I know how to handle... Oh, uh, Morris and uh, Karen, you guys should behave. Abena, how are you doing? Welcome to my live session, yeah? We are learning how to color grade in Photoshop. You guys should behave, Morris and Aaron. So you see, over here, we should be able to change the green to colors. But then it's not, I don't know, maybe it's me, but it's not that flexible here for me, like in uh, Capture One. So let's say, Master, if this affects the whole image and charlie i'm not that good with you know selective but then i think there is there is uh something else here called selective color let's go to that and see um where is it selective Okay, so this is selective color. Let's see what happens. So here, greens. Let's see what we can do to greens. You. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm back. I don't know what happened, but it just came that something went wrong, and yeah, I am back. 
Can you guys see me? Um, I don't know. It just, it just. <laughs> uh, that yo oh, ni. I don't know what happened though, but they just sent it that uh, something went wrong and blah blah blah. So I had to refresh and Charlie Streamyard. Don't miss me. I even thought my hours got finished. <laughs> you know, I have uh, uh, twenty hours. So I thought I had exhausted my hours. That's why it just said something went wrong and then. But then I think I'm back now. So. Yeah, we are back here. So I was looking at uh, selective color and it's making sense. So here you can decide to change the colors and I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I think I like it. <laughs> I don't know what I just did, but I think I like it. Oh, let me see. Oh, okay. Ah, I can do this better in uh, Capture One, not inside here, not in Photoshop. See, uh, let's see, greens, let's look at yellows. Okay. Hmm, not bad. Okay, somewhere here. And then here okay this is not bad but still i prefer capture one i still prefer capture one me you edit finish i done editing karen i'm sure it's it's your people I'm 100% sure it's your people that caused this. <laughs> your people don't like me, so... They keep doing this to me. They notice that I've discovered uh, a new way of going live without interruption. So, okay, Karen, tell me, so far, aside that short break, the Dark Nation thing, like, has the stream been stable? Hmm? Okay, ni you pause and Charlie see ni. I've edited 13 videos about Capture One. I finished editing last night. I decided to uh, put them, I queue them in a media encoder and then export them while I went to bed. So I woke up this morning, played them, and then Charlie, some of them, especially I did some like uh, picture in picture. So I recorded myself like and then the screen. So I put myself down there, something like that. Hey, all the ones that I did that and I color graded, they were overexposed. Just said, I have to, you know, go back and then go and work on them again and re-export. And you know the sad part? I did not apply the grading, like the things I did to the video. I did not apply them to uh, uh, an adjustment layer. I just put them straight on the... I put them straight on the videos, and I've cut, cut the videos, played it, so you can imagine. <laughs> the stress I'll go through to get that thing back. Charlie, and you're easy, and you're better, sir. It's not easy. Okay, so selective color, I'm not liking it. Let me check another one, the black and white. Where is black and white? This one, yeah. So with this, I noticed you can take out mm, white, then black. So once you play with yellows, you get it either dark or okay. I've never played with this. Uh, oh, ni! I thought we were brothers. Eh, ni! I thought we were brothers. Now you're you're telling me good luck. Just I should go and face it all alone. Eh? Okay, no problem. So you see, if you want to convert your image to black and white, you don't just go and select the black and white and then like leave it like that. The default black and white doesn't give you um, the, the tones you need. Like it doesn't give you the kind of drama that you want. So you should always try and then work it. 
every uh, image there is red and there is orange orange yellow yeah orange or yellow or yellow let's just say red and yellow every image has red and yellow in it because those two colors constitute the skin tone so if you want to work on that look at this see how dramatic it is by just working on the reds if i reduce the the red the luminosity of the red see how see this is adding this is reducing see how dramatic it's getting then let's look at yellow also see more drama if we increase it see you're making it bright so if you want your black and white image to be that bright you work it here or if you want it dramatic greens don't really have that much except with uh, the the things over there see so it's mostly red and yellow yeah charlie paul my this thing my phone fuck up so i'm not on uh on whatsapp i mean you get uh i message so message me on i message I'm off WhatsApp for now. The, you can't even call that phone. I forgot to take out the SIM card from it. So if you have my MTN, call the MTN or just send me uh, just send me a message on iMessage. Yeah. Send me a message on iMessage. You will get to me. Or DM me on Instagram. For now, dear, I am off. Off, I am. So you see the drama in this. We are adding drama to it, you know, by doing this. Oh, ah, I've, I thought you were using. Uh, Okay, okay. Send me a message on Instagram. I thought you were using iPhone. What happened? Did you give the phone to your girl? <laughs> and you think that iPhone go dash the girl? Eh? And I keep telling you guys, don't don't be investing your hard earned money on the girl. So unless you are married to her, stop investing. In her. I didn't say that too, please. That's why I had to say it quietly, so they don't come and attack me, you bab. <laughs> so just if you need to get in touch with me, if it's very important, call my MTN. Otherwise, just hey, Shun. Welcome. Ah, big mouth says saying. See, see, you owe me a phone, an iPhone 11 Pro, 512 gig, in a color. I beg, now will be the right time to send it. Look sharp. Eh? Just look sharp, okay? <laughs> and send it. So today we've been looking at uh, playing with color, color grading and that kind of thing in Photoshop. Uh, you, you guys know I'm a Capture One person. Um, yesterday, just when I was about to go live, chocolate appeared here. So I had to solve some things for him on his laptop. So I couldn't go live. He left around 9.30. And by then, I'm sure most of you were getting ready to go to bed. So I couldn't uh, come back home. So that's what happened yesterday. He got here, I think, five minutes. Five minutes to eight. Five minutes to the time I was supposed to go live. That was when he appeared. <laughs> that's how come I couldn't come live yesterday, yeah? But today I'm here. And tomorrow I'll be here also. If I'll be here, and tomorrow is uh, Friday. Yes, and then Saturday or Sunday, I'll try and do a live shoot. 
Oh, Charlie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You should have. Uh, and then, yes, my my WhatsApp line also is not going to. You can't WhatsApp me unless. Uh, Shaun, are you on iMessage? If you're on iMessage, just send me an, a message there using the same uh, WhatsApp number I have. But I'll receive it on my MacBook. I've connect. Luckily, I connected iMessage on my MacBook, so I still get um, messages here. So you can send me a message on iMessage. You can iMessage me, right? <laughs> message me through the i. My guy, and send me my phone. What is that? Okay, so since um, we are through, let me just go here. Okay, so you guys can see me big. Yeah, see me big. This is me. So don't insult me. And Karen, don't call me Moses, Moses. You and Morris. Stop calling me Moses, Moses. Uh, tomorrow I'll go and shave, and you guys will be ashamed of yourselves. You did not send me a message on what? So, uh, Chill, you didn't see me online. You are waiting for me, but you didn't send me a, me a message on uh, uh, WhatsApp either. So, how were you checking? You were supposed to check up on me. Eh? Chill, you were supposed to check up on me. Oh, Karen, tomorrow I'll go and shave. Don't worry. Tomorrow, pet, I'll go and take all this. It's very, very nasty. It's been nasty for days. I'll go and shave it all off. You see me, fine boy. All this thing will be gone. Then Chegun will be so, 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 so disappointed because <laughs> he wants to see me with all this Nyama Nyama thing. But I'll take it off tomorrow and life will be good, yeah? So looks like today you are late. So we finished learning before you got here. We learned how to color grade in Photoshop. Let's take this off and then bring back this color grade and this one, yes. So let's do the double. So we learned how to color grade this image from the original image. Ah, Maurice, why are you still laughing? From the original, image to this one, eh? See? Oh, Karen, it's true. If partial lockdown, and this is what I've become. Charlie, when is full lockdown, dear? Father Abraham, or is it Noah? Abraham, no, I think Abraham had more hair than any other person. Yeah. So when it's total lockdown, it will be fine. I, anyway, I pray we never get to a total lockdown because, Charlie, it will not be good. It will not end well. Hey, total lockdown. She said, you can't even go out to buy food. Nah, we don't want that. Okay, so Abraham is the father of all nations. Okay, cool. Okay, so... uh. She, I wanted to do it in Capture One, but as soon as we started, Capture One crashed. So I had to abandon and then do it in Photoshop. Photoshop, uh, color grading in Photoshop is not my stronghold. I prefer color grading in uh, Capture One to Photoshop. So I had to use Takashi. If you know what Takashi means, if you don't know what Takashi means, Karen will explain to you, or Morris will explain it to you. I had to use Takashi to do the color grading in Photoshop. I learned it from uh, <clears throat> Clay Cook's retoucher. He does uh, color grading in Photoshop using the color balance tool. So I learned it. Father Abraham had many sons. Yes, the father of all nations. That's Father Abraham. So when should we get to total lockdown, I'll become Father Abraham. I'll have more hair than you can imagine. <laughs> Karen, I won't mind you. I'll continue laughing. Very soon, you'll see me shy. You and Morris, you'll see me shy, pa. And this one that you guys are laughing at my hair. And Sheun will also be calling me Bush Boy because 
of my my beard. Shame on all of you. I won't shave it. And there'll be nothing to get me with anymore. Okay, Shaun says he'll watch it later. No problem. That's cool. Why will Karen or Maurice explain? Mostly you said your thing. Please explain. Eh, Karen, behave. Oh. Me, you guys understand the tree proper. So you can explain it to him. I mean, how good is my tree? That I can explain that. Eh? So you guys should explain it to him. I mean, stop laughing. It's not funny. Stop laughing at me. Eh? And fix my network. This is, I can't even download. I start small download now for me. But at least I've been able to watch a movie today on Netflix. It didn't break nothing. And so, Karen, I asked you, how is the stream like? Like, is it, um, is it smooth or are there breaks? How is it like? And Maurice, at your end also. How is it like? I won't even ask uh, Shaun because his end, the internet is the internet is very good at his end. So okay, your network is fine today. Okay, okay, awesome. That's awesome. Morris, Morris is also viewing from Kumasi. How is the experience like over there? Is it stable or is it shaky? You know? Because that's Ni said the other time. It's um it's OBS. OBS is network intensive. It chops much network, you know. And this is the second time I'm using um, StreamYard like for a full session like this. And I think I'm liking it. So far, so good. It's 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 okay. It's good. I think, yeah, it's good. Hmm, I like it. And you guys also like it. You can attest to the fact that it's good because these things I do in uh, OBS. And here I am doing it over here. See? And life is good. So if, <clears throat> if you guys say it's good here like this, see? Just this screen without me appearing and everything is good. Then, Charlie, we are good to go. Just that I have to buy this for uh twenty dollars a month <laughs> it's not easy so this is what we did today minus this minus this is the original image this is one color grading this is another color grading now if i put both together this is what i get so you see it's always nice you can you can always uh stack the color grades together and get something extraordinary, something you didn't even think of. You get it? And one thing about color grading is don't go overboard. Don't overdo it. If you overdo it, Charlie, it won't end well. You start having some, you know, nyama nyama colors and your image comes out and you actually, like, you know, at that very uh, instant, you think, oh, it's nice. But later, when you watch it again, you'll be like, wow. Did I really do this? You get it? So do not overdo it. Color grading is not about messing up your image with colors. If you don't have a good, you know, game for color grading, I beg, don't, don't even start it. Your images are nice like that. Let's take a look at this. See? Just as this image is, this is how we brought it in here. It's nice, like it's good. So you don't necessarily need to color grade it because you see other people doing color grading. So you also think, oh, you also need to color grade and all that. No, it's not. It's not compulsory to color grade every. Oh. Oh, Karen, she says I should shave. Eh? Okay, please, baby girl, tomorrow I'll go and shave for you, okay? Tomorrow I'll go and shave for you, yeah? I promise. So let me see. Uh, I don't know the time I'll go tomorrow, 
but maybe before I yes, before I come live tomorrow, I will shave. I'm not promising though, maybe just maybe before I come live tomorrow, I will shave or I will shave um, Saturday, one of them. Yeah, Charlie, OBS is terrible. Hey, is this in trying to misbehave? OBS is very, very terrible, Charlie. Very, very terrible. It chops RAM, it chops the network and all that. See how this one has been smooth since we started. It's been very, very smooth and life is good. You see? Life is very, very good. Hold on, let me see. Some messages are not getting here. They are over there, but not here. Hold on. Where is Telly? Today I haven't seen Telly here. And Shaun, what are you doing? Why are you quiet? Eh, Shaun, I suspect you. Which girl are you there with? That you are not talking. Shaun, confess. Who are you, David? Who are you? Who, who, who are you? Who are you locking down with? Oh, Charlie, I miss posting on Instagram. I can't post on Instagram because of my phone. There was a way I uh, like I could uh, set my um. Safari, so that you will, will fool the machine to think it's a phone I'm using. I'll be able to post, but I've forgotten. Maybe I'll have to look it up again. So I'll be able to post on Instagram using my laptop. But for now, no postings, no posts on Instagram, Charlie. But wait, what are you posting on Instagram at this time? What are you posting? What is it uh, that you are posting? Okay. All right, I think it's 9, 11 p.m. And we are done with today's set. Let me close this one. Boom. Yes, I think we are done with today's session. We will continue tomorrow. 
with something else. So tomorrow we'll do our setup capture one so that we can do the color grading in capture one. Yeah, I tell you, you are late. You are late. Of course, ah, so it is retard images that you post on Instagram. But I mean, you are in uh, lockdown, so why are you posting <laughs> images? <laughs> eh? Tell you, yes, you are late. You are very late today. Today you've uh, you've replaced AJ because today AJ was on time, and you got here late. So yeah, 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 yeah. So you to enjoy your night. Tell you, yes, you are late too. Tell you, we had your the owner of the group got involved in a fight with somebody, so she also left. She left the group for you guys. Oh, why? Eh, why? Why do you guys fight your your admin? Your admin one, the owner of your group. You guys sacked her. Eh? I'm sure Telly is part. <laughs> Telly, I'm sure you are part of it. Hey, is that saying? Ah, you don't know. Oh, you also left. Uh, tell me, did you also leave the group? Ah, <laughs> Sam. Uh, hey, people. How will you know? You don't read things in there. How can, how can you know? Uh, you don't read. So how come you don't know she left? Mm, tell me, how come you don't know that the owner of the group left the group for you guys? Ah, if you don't follow events, then why are you there? True. Disappear like us. Okay. Sleep is coming and I need water, but I don't want to get up and go and fetch it. Well, then you should just, if it's not being beneficial to you and you are not contributing or doing anything there, why are you still occupying space? Well, anyway, most of the people are not there. Even Loretta says she also left. <laughs> so <laughs> what else is going on there? Chai, ni? Ni? Let's, let's, let's form our own, let's form our, our own group eh? And Laurie left, cry after Lisa left. <laughs> so now you guys are on your own. Does Cyber even talk there anymore? Uh, nee, let's tear our own group. Eh? So I will be teaching. Now, the way it is now, it is not good. Like everything has collapsed just like that. It is not good, cry. So let's tear our own group. Um, where is me? Bring me big here. Yes. We are done with retouching. So now we are talking about me. Let me close that W. Let me close Photoshop. Bam. Quit Photoshop. I've quit Photoshop. Remove that screen. Yes.
So that's what I was thinking. Let's form our own. If you can't abide by the rules and you think you are in life, you just remove yourself or we remove you. Hey, tell me why you want to go and fight people, please. So they beg. Eh? They beg. Chinese, let's tell our own group. Hey, tell you, behave. I'm not Father Abraham. I'm not Father Abraham. Ni, ni is going and coming. <laughs> he said he has paused his editing. But Chinese, we go to your group. AJ will be the mother of the group. If anybody misbehaves, we'll send a person to AJ to discipline the person. <laughs> AJ. Hmm. Okay. So I think um, the late comma is in here, but now we have to go. It's nine, almost nine thirty. People have to get ready to sleep. Others to have to put their their better house. I mean, why won't it end when you know the people who do their best to? make sure things are well run, are being insulted by people who had no plans, no goodwill for the group. I mean, by the way, how, uh, tell me, how is your girl doing? You know now, your best friend. Uh, tell me, your best friend, how is she doing? Uh, <laughs> Charlie, all die be die. All ending be ending. True. All ending be ending. Your best friend. How is she doing? I'm sure by now she is happy. She is happy with her life. You don't know stress and please go and private her. PM her and ask her how she's doing. And let life go on. True. You can't just leave her like that. Okay, we we are we, we are on 13 likes. How come? That means there are people coming in that are not dropping their thumbs up. Okay, if you are not joining us, we end, we've ended tonight's um, training session. And now we are just, uh, you know, interacting. I'm your host, Don Alabi. For now, you can call me Moses Moses or you can call me Father Abraham because of my lockdown, you know, change. That's me for now. You see, hey, official prince, how are you doing? Welcome to the session. Unfortunately, we finished uh, teaching and now we are just uh, interacting. So... Feel free and let's interact, man. If you have any question for me, just go ahead and ask, man. I'll answer you. Yeah, I'm also doing fine here. I'm also doing fine. Ah, tell me, how can you be happy in bitterness? What is that? Go and text your best friend and find out how she's doing. You know, check up on people. Oh, 14 now? Okay, let me go check. Okay, it's, I see 15 now. I see 15 thumbs up. And that's that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, so as I said, because my phone is not in yet, that's why I stopped giving out the airtime. Yibab. So once I get my phone, I'll resume. I think I have about, is it 10 or 15 cities worth of airtime to give out? So once my phone comes back, I will give you guys your 10 cities at time before we go. Aha, uh -huh. Laura is here. Laura? Laura and uh, Telly, you guys. Loretta, I'm saying that we should, we should, uh, I was telling me, let's form our own support group once again. 
And that one, no nonsense. If you misbehave, we'll take you off. Or, you know, you sack yourself. Plain, plain like that. AJ will be the mother of the group. If you misbehave, we'll send it to AJ for disciplinary measures. <laughs> what do you think? Eh? Laura, what do you think? Ah, not like that, Sesen. True. We will create our own group to teach. It will be very serious. If you are not going to be serious there, we'll just take you off. <laughs> hey, Laura, Tete Ghana, why? No, 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 no. We don't want to. Hey, they will say we are extorting. We don't want to extort. <coughs> Sorry. We don't want to extort money from anybody. Tete Ghana Pa. Hey, Charlie, that's not bad also, but. But we don't want to make it money, you know, money thing. So. I think we will start, start it like that, but then. When you come in, we will vet you. If you don't pass the vetting, we will caput you. Simple. <laughs> Simple like that. Uh, if I were the group admin, I'll remove everyone and delete the group. No, see, tell you the thing is the group admin has left. So now I think cyber is an admin. So if, if cyber also leaves, then the next person will be made admin at random. Ibab. Okay, okay, official prints. Edit well. When you finish and you post, tag me so that I'll take a look at it, yeah? Yes, it's true. People are making money through WhatsApp group, but our intention is not to make money. We just want to help people. You see? We are not there to make money. It can also be that, you know, we you pay that 30 cities you join, then we we'll use that 30 cities to do something for you. But the thing is, at the end of the day, somebody will go and say, we are charging to teach people, which isn't the, the real representation. You buy, it be at that 30 cities you pay, um, we'll get a graphic designer to design uh, maybe uh, a channel art for you. Yeah, or something like that, which will benefit you. But then somebody won't understand it that way. They will say, we are charging people for joining WhatsApp groups, you bab. Um, yeah, and only selected people will be in. We don't want any aqua bar. <laughs> hey, I see. Hey, 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 tell it. Tell it, you have matters. So if the group is created, I'll be admin. I'll remove every nonsense person. <laughs> no, that will be vendetta. <laughs> we'll give everybody fair, you know, fair trial. If somebody misbehaves, you know, it will be fair trial. You bab. It will be fair trial. If, you know, a case is brought against you, we'll give you the chance to <laughs> make your case. Then whatever happens, we'll see if we we'll remove you or not. But I think, you know, people value things that they pay for. So if they are paying to join, then when they join, they know that it's serious. And yes, say like just in the WhatsApp group that they can just come in and then talk nonsense and go. And then the thing is, everybody in there will contribute. Even if you don't know Kpa, a time will come, we will ask you to teach us Kpa. <laughs> you see, so that everybody will be inclusive. And yes, say, yours is, you just be there in the background and be benefiting, leeching from other people and you won't contribute. No. It's going to be that everybody will have something to do in there. Yeah? Yes, we'll make it like that. Uh, hey, tell you, if you start here, I won't rescue you. <laughs> Aji. Uh, Aquaba and Cosbless, who are those people? That Aquaba boy, see if I catch him and I, the way I will beat him. Hmm. Yeah, Loretta, it's true. If they pay, they will put value on. But that might also send a different uh, message, which we don't want. So we'll make it this way that, you know, there will be a form. Once you join, we send you the form. Within 30 minutes, if you don't fill the form and send back, we'll take you off. Because you can't join a group and then 30 minutes, you haven't said anything. 
So that form will have uh, like uh, fields for details about you. So we know about you, you know. We'll ask you a stupid question. Based on how you answer it, we'll know whether you're a correct person or you're not a correct person, you see? So once it's accepted, we'll keep you there. If 30 minutes you haven't filled the form and sent it back, Charlie, we take you off. Just like how someone was insulting an innocent person for taking money to do channel ads when the actual person who does that is the person who started the trouble and kept quiet. You see? That's how it is. That's exactly how it is. You're not the only one who wants to beat you. Hey, I see. So more people want to beat you up. Eh? <laughs> Ajay, uh, no. If you if we give you a mirror, Charlie, <laughs> you would, it will not be good. You will do bad things. So we we'll let a silent person, maybe a AJ or a number that people don't know. So that number will be there for removing people, so that there will be no hatred. Because if we give you that rule, you know people will start hating on you and all that. So I think the executioner will be. The executioner's uh, identity will be hidden. It could even be me using uh, a different number to do the removal and all that. You know, because Charlie, once you're giving the sword to start punishing people, people will hate you for no reason. You get it. And I only want to put any of you in that position to be hated by people just like that. You are not strong. You know you are not strong and you keep misbehaving. The way they will break you. Eh? I'll be in charge. In fact, we'll review the person's channel and other pages before they join. Yeah, that's the thing. Or, Laura, the thing is they can join all right, but we'll do all that behind the scenes within a day or two. If you realize you are not somebody, you know, who can, who should remain there, we just take you off. We'll give you reasons and then take you off. You go and put your house in order and then come back. Laura says what? No, I'll be the same person. I don't care. <laughs> Laura, we care. We don't want to. Charlie, hatred is not good. People will start, you know, cursing you for no reason. <laughs> don't worry. So stop publicizing it. I don't let people know it's it 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 could be you. You bab. Uh, it could also even be me or Laura with another number. Look at them. You tell it. They will catch you and start beating you. You will see. No, it's not that you are afraid of them, Charlie, but sometimes. Sometimes you just have to keep your identity you know, away from people. You just have to remain, you know, low key so people won't hate you for nothing. Some people will have their total channel for self for self. Uh, well, we'll review all that. We'll find out what your main aim is. If your aim requires that you do sub for sub, fine. But you won't have to worry as to do the sub for sub for you. You do it on your own elsewhere, not in the group. You have. So for that, we'll review based on what your channel is about and what you're doing. If it's not good practice, Charlie. We will just kick you out, Ibab. Looks like Ni is busy. So from here, I'll discuss it with him and then see the outcome. If he's in, then we'll create it and then start adding people. You know, from the beginning, we'll have the core people. Hey, I'm me, the one that I'm even talking. I don't even have a WhatsApp phone yet. So, <laughs> okay. So, but then you guys can start. Then when I get my phone, I'll join. You know, it's, it's the same people. So we'll just add the core people. Make sure the rules and everything. We set the rules and regulations, the requirements, everything down. The form should be there. Anybody who joins, or if somebody says they want to join, you send the form to them. They fill it, review it. Then, you know, whether you stay or you leave depends on the answers you give. So far as she's not done anything, the curse won't work. Sure, people will just curse you for no reason. Eh? Tell you, people can just curse you for no reason because so they will just curse you just because you've been removing people and all that. So I am in the photography group. They call me the executioner. My main role there is when somebody posts nonfa, 
when somebody posts Nonfa, something that hasn't got anything to do with photography, my job there is to remove the person. And Charlie, <laughs> the hatred I've you know developed out of that eh, is not easy. So most people think I'm a wicked person or I'm you know a mean person just because I've been taxed to do that job. So Charlie, in that group, people don't post Nonfa. Sure. If you post Nonfa, I'll just tell you your last words. You'll be typing your last words and I'll remove you. <laughs> Alore, after Corona, I said, saying, okay, we'll plan it now. Then after Corona, or we can even, it's a virtual group, so we can start now. And with that, we, we can be making time, at least like once every month, we can meet physically. Those who can make it will meet physically. And if you're in Accra and you miss the physical meeting, maybe two or three, no, three consecutive times, it means you are not fit to be part of it. We just remove you. Simple. <laughs> Me will not willingly agree. Or you should have you should have solid logics to come. Oh, don't worry. We will talk about it. It's uh, right now. It's the talking stage. So we will talk about it and see. We we'll see because Charlie, there are more people who need help. I meet people on Twitter, on even on uh, Instagram. That you know they do YouTube, but you realize that what they are doing, they need help. So with something like sometimes I want to even before I left that group, I brought in one girl. I met her; she was on Instagram, so I sent her the link to join. She joined. I think the next day, you know, then I left. You see, <laughs> you see, and Loretta, I mean, like five other uh, groups like that too, five other photography groups. That's my job because. I started with one group and they realized that Charlie, I'm good at that. Charlie, you post that thing within seconds, I'll remove you. <laughs> they realized I'm very good at that. So they've given me that role. Most of the group admin, they just be like, Charlie, come and do your job here for me. Because most of them, like, they are friends with the people. So they can't remove them. Charlie, sometimes I'll remove and they will come and send, send me a message in my PM. I won't even mind them. You I mean, macho man, can you threaten me? You can't even threaten me. <laughs> Yo, William, William. Charlie, William, what happened? Charlie, today, the we learn finish. Show. Now we just the formulate the bab. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, it's been a while. Hope everything is good. Uh, William, you, you won the air time the other time, right? I think so. Yeah, you were the one who won the air time the other time. Why is it? No, we won't start now. Ah, you don't want to start now. Okay. All right, all right. We won't start it now then. So we'll just, we'll just talk about it. We'll just talk about, yeah, Charlie, there are people around who need help. Like, they just heard YouTube is good, so YouTube pays. So they all just uh, they all just want to, you know, come in. But they need to know the real truth. I've been telling Chocolate, start a YouTube channel. All that. Even my fellow photographers, I've been telling them. Some of them, I know, you know, they have things to contribute. They should start. But then they don't really understand the whole YouTube thing well. So with all that, we come together and then, you know, teach them. There are people who are doing it and they think they are doing, you know, but behind the scenes, they are not doing the right thing. So yes, we need to come together and then teach them. So I know it will take, it will take some convincing to convince me to join, but Charlie, we can make it. We can, we can, we, we can make it. Okay, William says, yeah, I went into hiding small. Please, what group are you referring to? I want to join. <laughs> William, you are talking about uh, a YouTube support group. So if you're a content creator, then that would be a good group to join. Not for just photographers or Instagram. It's a YouTube, people who create content for YouTube. So if, if you want to join, then that's, uh, that's, that's one. Yes, Loretta said, we are talking about YouTube. So if you want to be a YouTube content creator, Charlie, you can you can join. There are people who think, oh, so I tell them, Charlie, I can see you can create good content. You know, put it on YouTube. Then they're like, uh, when I join, when do I start getting paid? I'm like, <laughs> I just laugh, you know. I'm not able to give them an answer. Like, when I join, when do I start getting paid? I'm like, you have to work for it. <laughs> you don't just finish school and then you start getting paid. No, you need to get a job and prove to your people that you can work before they start paying you. So when they hear that, they're like, ah, okay, so how much have you 
gained so far. I'm like, no, I'm not monetized yet. They're like, ah, all these videos you're doing, you're not yet monetized, you know? So most of them just come in because of the money. So we need to tell them about, you know, how even when you get monetized, how you're not going to be making that boom, boom money from the beginning, that it takes years of persistence to even get ten dollars <laughs> as i'm here they say what my estimated uh, earning is i think two to twenty five dollars a month i mean <laughs> i can be making five dollars a month <laughs> and that's like nothing imagine five dollars a month the whole year i can't even cash out you bab so they need to understand all these things before they go in and they start burning out and getting frustrated and all that yeah so yes everywhere is hot too uh, William says, what well, YouTube, they are not my line. Uh, you, you, William, we know, we know. So people like you, you know, I will be coming to you to interview you or when you're shooting, I'll take behind the scenes and all that. And then I'll feature you on my channel. You get it? So yeah, I, I understand. Not Teaching is not for everybody. Creating content is not for everybody. You get it? So some of you will be creating, then we will come and capture and then put it out there. That's part of what I, I do. Someone created a WhatsApp group for content creation for Instagram. But before you join 50 Ghana, then you share everyone's post, like and comment. Yeah, you see, so that's a support group. I wanted to do something like that for Instagram for people who have like 5K followers and above because Instagram has started this foolish thing of hiding posts. So if let's say there are 100 of us there, you post and the 100 of us go and like it within the first hour, your post will be boosted by instagram automatically i wanted to do the same thing for youtube also so let's say we are 100 in the group when one person posts all 100 of us within that one hour we we'll all go and you know um we we'll all go and interact under the person's uh, video it will boost the person's metric so we do that for each person but then with all that challenge you need to streamline it what about people who post every day does that mean and then there are people who post let's say once a month so they will feel cheated. And then there are people, no matter what you do, they will not go and watch for somebody. So, but then they would want you to watch theirs. So we need a mechanism to make sure that everybody is doing the right. So I've really thought about all that. And Charlie, we will, we will get there. We will get there. Aha, uh -huh, Laura, you see? So for now, it's making small, small money. But, you know, Eventually, maybe throughout the year, if you're, if you're, let's say you're making $10 a month, for the whole year is $120. If you calculate $120 to cities, some 500, 600 cities, Charlie, when you're scabby, you know, for your sweat throughout the year, you buy, <laughs> but people will be expecting that within a month or something, Charlie. It's not easy. Uh, oh, creating the every camp, but the YouTube hustle is real. So I'm not trying. You, Charlie William, it is real though. I'm telling you, anytime I go live, when I end like this, let's say one hour, 30 minutes, at least six gig of data, boom, gone. So imagine in a week or let's say 10 days and I go live uh, one hour or let's say yeah, one hour every day for 10 days. That's how many gig? 60 gig. Oh, 60 gig. 10 times 6. Uh, 6 times 10. Yeah, 60 gig. Boom, just like that too. And if you calculate it, Calculate it, Charlie. Money is going. Yes, yeah, so Laura, we will plan it. Yeah. We will sit down and then plan after Kuru. Why not cry? Like, we can still meet, but it's just not um, safe. Uh huh. You see, and there are people who post like every hour. So we need, we need some, uh, like the, the bloggers who post every now and then. Ibab. Yes, Laura says viral content makes the money. And some of us, what we create isn't viral, like tutorials. Last time I was telling Telly, I needed to learn something. I searched for it on YouTube. And guess what? The closest video, like the video that had the info I needed, is a 2015 video. And I'm sure the person has even stopped creating because the person has like, I think less than 1K subscribers. From 2015, if 2015 he had that video, and now, uh, five years down the line, 
he is still less than 1k subscribers then that means what he stopped creating or he lost hope or something you buy so in this field when you are teaching whatever you your video can't be viral unless Charlie you are blessed with a topic that people end up looking for at that particular moment Charlie <laughs> but for you the travel people and you know lifestyle you go can get you know viral contents each time especially these celebrities trends channel they can post 10 times a day exactly every tweet is a it's a new story for them yes you have consistency Laura, you can have a viral video viral video but if it's not if it's not advertising friendly yawa charlie big yawa <laughs> big yawa Laura says what now i'm coming to try sit down videos sit down i think with sit down is your storyline if your storyline is catchy people will watch that's one thing i've noticed about people if you have a good story, ah, they don't mind wasting the data to watch. But in my case, my photographers, most of them use MTN Night Bundle. And guess what they do? They download my video. They use their download apps to download the video. So imagine like 100 people downloading my videos. But I don't get, I don't get the watch because they don't watch it. They copy the link and then download it. <laughs> so you see, it doesn't help me in any way. Even though... I'm impacting people are watching my video, but they are not watching it on the YouTube app. So I don't get the hits. You get it? Because a lot of them tell me, oh, I downloaded your video and I, where I, somewhere in the village is like, uh, there is this guy from Nzima. He called, he texted me. He was like, oh, he's in Nzima because of the lockdown. He was, I think, in Kumasi, but because of the lockdown, he moved to Nzima. And over there, the network only, I think, 2 a.m. or so that they get goodness. So he downloads my the live retouch. He downloads each of them at 2 a.m. to watch. And he doesn't watch them on YouTube. So I don't get I don't get all that. You bab. So it's like that. Charlie, the YouTube has a Um, now the video training is about politics and COVID-19. So people creating that content are making them. Yes, it's true. I even have, um, I think I've had these videos for the past two weeks when we were in lockdown. I asked a couple of friends to take like videos of themselves, photographers telling, you know, talking about how this COVID-19 has affected them. And I've had uh, one from the US and then three others here. Even Sela and Joey also did one. Um, Elex did one. Uh, Alfred also did one. Then I have to do mine also and then fuse them in. I have the videos ready. It's just left with mine to be done. I'll fuse them in. Something like that, you know, because of COVID-19, it will hit. So I'm, I'm preparing it very soon. I'll, maybe somewhere next week, I'll just, I'll just release it. Hmm. So you guys should, I mean, Charlie, just step out with your nose mask. And as I said, Laura, it's a good idea. Buy five um, locally made nose masks. Charlie, go to the market or something like that. Charlie, now, Ufo nose is so, you know, selfie mode or something. You get somebody to film you. Talk to somebody. Why are you not wearing it? Is it because you can't afford it? Or is it because you think the virus is not real? Based on their answer, you can give them one. They move to the next person. Charlie, see now, people see you give, you know, people like this giving thing. 
and when I show you cry, the bloggers will take it and make news out of it. This uh, YouTuber giving out uh, face masks to people, random people on the streets. Charlie, you hit too. So you guys should try it. Eh? And uh, if you want me to go and do it, you are fine. Yeah, I don't know how to interact with people, but <laughs> I'll do it and then put it on my... <laughs> Uh, I'll put it on my channel. Just that my channel is not really about, you know, lifestyle kind of thing. So you guys should go and do it. Hmm? But the YouTube uh, support WhatsApp group, there, yeah, it will come on. Uh, if I have to bribe AJ so that she will convince me so that we do it, uh, <laughs> I will do it. <clears throat> yeah, Charlie, tell you, I've told you, it's, it's a very good content. You guys should try it. Uh, you can even team up. Two YouTubers can meet and then, you know, go and do it. Today, this person will film this person. Then from there, he moves to another location. The other person will film the other person. It becomes a trendy thing. Maybe two or three YouTubers doing it. Charlie, the bloggers will pick it. And the, you know these people, these days, they lazy work. They just sit and then pick things from online and then write something small about it. And then, boom, it becomes news. So you can start it. In fact, ah, Laura, scared of what? I was out today and, you know, they're scared there that, you no know, people are not coughing, people are not sneezing and that too. Anyway, it depends on where you go also. But I was at Circle today, seriously, eh? Even though a few of them were just going about their normal activities, most of them were in masks. And they were selling masks all over. And you know now, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's compulsory to wear nose mask if you're in Accra. So people are being careful. And as I said, the Trotsky is, oh, this is a good time, the best time to sit in a Trotsky. No overcrowding. In fact, no crowding. There's big distance. Only two people per seat. Asa. I mean, um, per way now. And then the mates understand, the drivers understand, the passengers also understand. And Charlie, everything is je, je, je. So just put on your nose mask. Make sure you have your hand sanitizer. And now... If you wear nose masks, people don't look at you like you're a weird person or that anymore. No. Now everybody is, you know, everybody has grabbed it that Charlie, we are in difficult situations. It will be a nose mask. So you can step out. Charlie, don't be scared that you need to just make sure wherever you're going, like it's not a rowdy place, you know. Just go do what you have to do. Charlie, short time. Or if you like, if you like, don't go to markets or crowded places on your streets you know just in your neighborhood you see somebody walking oh tell the person oh, this is what you you are doing so would they want to you know be part charlie 10 seconds 20 seconds talk to the person if you like adding you know giving out cyber rally on live day. yeah these these days i think when was it last well, there was a time he was here but for a short time you bab. The thing is adding the adding the no, the giveaway, the nose mark giveaway adds um, affection, like compassion. When people see you doing something good for you know the community, they would want to watch and see. But if it's just you around talking, telling people about how Corona and how people are not wearing nose masks, they will be like, "What have you done to help?" So you adding the the nose mask, giving it out to people. You tell people that what you didn't just go there to you know chase clouds. You went there to do something good. You know you talk to them. Why are they not wearing it? If they give you a stupid reason, well you can decide not to give them. But if they give you a genuine reason, maybe because they didn't get some to buy, or because they can't afford it, or because in fact they don't even know anything about the virus, you explain it to them, and then you give them one. You see, and then they will thank you for that. So just think about it. I think the mass baby have as low as five cities. See, some are 10 cities, some are five cities. So you can just, if it's five cities, you buy five, 25 Ghana. Charlie, 25 Ghana. We are doing something good for the motherland. So you can try that and see. Uh, Lore, you can come to Medina, eh, from Dodoa to Medina, or even Adenta. The roadside, the roadside, you will get people. Eh? These are, um, there will be people walking, maybe even random people. If they are not wearing the mask, you find, or even those wearing the mask, talk to them, find out, you know, do they really believe 
in this virus? Do they believe the mask can save them or protect them from all these things? Charlie, in fact, I've stopped giving you ideas. Sometimes it pains me that I don't do lifestyle. <laughs> See, like when you say today, like I went to circle. I'll just interview the those selling the phones and selling by the roadside and all that. Talk to them. even those selling the masks. Talk to them, and, but that, that it's not part of my my the things I do. So Charlie, I've just <laughs> I've just paused on that. So you guys should try and then get its content. People want to know. You know, Ghana is among. Uh, Ghana is among, I think Ghana is the only country that has lifted the lockdown. All other countries that have the lockdown haven't lifted. I think China also lifted because they've been able to subdue the virus. But Ghana is in Africa. Ghana is the first country to lift. Even US hasn't lifted. Italy hasn't lifted. UK, they've not lifted the lockdown. Every other country is still under lockdown. But Ghana, we did it for three weeks and we are out. People want to know how, what, you know, so... Any video coming out of Ghana is a plus. You go on the street, let people see that we are back to normal and people are wearing the mask, locally made mask and all that. Charlie, good content. Uh, you see why I say I said you're actually a nerd. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I know, I know. You see, Telly, somebody is doing it for two cities. I mean, two cities. You can even buy 10 for 20 Ghana and give it to 10 people. Just go to the roadside. You will get if like tell tell you if there are, you can't find people in your hood, come to Estate Junction. Eh? Stand at Estate Junction. You get lots of the KNK sellers, the pota fried potato seller, and all those people. You you will get them. Tell it good content. So as Loretta is doing Dodoa, Tell is also doing uh, Estate Junction. Oh, your credit is finished. Bye bye you. <laughs> <laughs> uh William says the lift in there is temporary. Share. It's for us to prepare for the next. See, William, we are saying it, but for you know, and it won't happen because I think from all that I heard that the cases that they are reported, thousand something, something. It is not thousand individual people, though. It is thousand tests. So you know, some people they did the test on them three times. So if they test you three times and you were positive three times. It means you alone, you've counted three already. You buy up. So, Charlie, let's say, well, concerning the nose mask, remember to soak it in alcohol before you wear. It might be. Yes, so, and then one thing I heard also is that you wash it, like, with you soak it first in a detergent. You wash it under running water with soap for, you know, some time. You dry it under the sun, and after you iron it, you know, if it goes through all those processes, especially ironing, you know, it's boom, you bab. So it's good. One, and then you should have like three or four so that if you if you go out today, that one that you use today, you, know, you won't use it maybe the next day or the next two days. It will, you keep it till maybe three or four days after before you use it. So by then, you, know, then you, you would have killed the germs and all that. Kelly says what? Mike, you know I'm shy to talk to new people. Ah, then remove vlogging from your or like hey, remove vlogging from your your things. Stop vlogging. Because <laughs> me too is part of me. Like I don't know how to approach people. That one dear. I don't know how to approach people. That's why I don't even want to vlog. I don't want to do lifestyle. I don't know how to approach people. I can see you, I'll just pass by him. I won't even mind you. Yes, yeah, so you soak it in rubbing alcohol. And, you know, before you use it again, and then iron it also, Charlie. Iron it well, well, well. Let the iron be hot. And then, and if you like, I microwave it. Yeah, I think that's a good... Charlie, William, don't you think it's a good idea to microwave it? <laughs> so that you cook all the gems. And I believe that the the lifting. I'm not. I'm not hoping that we go back to the lockdown again. I pray everything is under control so that we don't have to go back to lockdown, Charlie. Because lockdown, oh dear. Nah. I'll still go for disposable. Ones. Yes, if you can afford the disposable ones, Charlie. Perfecto. 
Just that I think now they are sell, the disposable ones are a bit high. The prices are a bit high. But once people are making the fabric one and people realize that you know people, everybody is buying that, they reduce the prices of the disposable one. Because I have a friend who is doing the fabric one and she says what is three layers. Like they went for training. And now FDA is uh, approving, you know, they've given standards as to how the nose mask should be made, the kind of uh, materials and all that. So, yeah, that's it. And they train them for that. So just look out. He said, what, well, three layers, which means it's, it's, it's very, very you know, efficient. Mm -hmm. I enjoy vlogging and lifestyle. Ah, you enjoy it, but you don't want to be talking to people. I beg, go to Estate Junction. Talk to people. Find out why they are not wearing it. Why are they wearing it? Are they just wearing it because government says they should wear it or they really understand why they are wearing it? You are Charlie, you're a journalist too. Get the info for the people. Let them see that, yeah, you're not just doing lazy vlogging or lazy thing you are really doing be get things that people want people people want to see sometimes i i follow ctfm there are videos on youtube and i'm like why do they get so much views it's because they are covering things that people want to know even me most of the time i go i don't even read their news anymore i go on youtube and watch you know people want to see visuals people want to connect with whatever is happening you see if we should go back to lockdown, it will be a total one. See, if we are talking about total, do you know what total lockdown is? It means you can't even go out to buy food. How many people in Ghana can keep food for even two days? There are people that they can't, they don't even eat at home. They have to go and buy kenke in the morning, go and buy uh, yokegari in the afternoon. And in the evening, they have to go and buy indomie or they buy uh, wache in the morning. And then in the evening, they go and buy kenke. Or some even buy kinky just in the afternoon, and that's it. You get it? They can't store kinky overnight. It will get spoiled because they don't have the means. They don't have fridge. They don't have any storage capacity. You buy. So as for the total lockdown, I'm not sure. Charlie, if it happens, it means the president just doesn't. Maybe he takes it out of anger. He's angry or something. Aside that, total lockdown in Ghana. Even America, there's no total lockdown. It's partial. You can order food, go pick it up and come. About just that the security forces have to be much more strict. If you give stupid uh, reason why you're out, they just go and lock you up or they find you. Simple like that. Anyways, Charlie, it's been an insightful night and I think it, it's, it's okay for us yeah, I had an idea to do something which I'll be implementing tomorrow. All right, no problem. It's been lovely having you guys around. Even though Telly came late, I think she dragged us to like another one hour here. Telly, well done, eh? So we will just uh, end it here. We've done two hours. Wow, this is the longest I've kept since I started doing this live uh, thing. Yeah. So we'll end it here and then we'll continue tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow with teachings. So as usual, even though the lagging here is just 10 seconds. So I'll leave about 30 seconds. I'll turn off the mic if anybody has something to say before we finally go off. But then for now, turn off the light, the light and then the mic. No, yeah, the mic and the light. Yeah, the light and the mic. Yeah. So I'll turn it all off. And yes, I'll put only the screen. So guys, thank you very much for being part of this. I'll be back again tomorrow so I will learn and discuss stuff. So I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for watching. Turn off the mic. <laughs>